Georgia. I don't know if he's from in Augusta where Sutton's from, but um, she's going to be a nice Southern woman. Dale's probably thrilled. Like this is good for her, right? Good for her. She's not out there being an asshole. Let let Tinsley be happy. No, and he be happy. seems like he he just seems like a really nice man, and you know he's been through tragedy, and I hope they can have such a great life. And and I'm so. I'm so happy for Tinsley because that loser, who was that disgusting loser that she was with God on the show? From, isn't it oh, the oh my God. He was sweaty. You talk about looking like, I know. And he was our, he was a friend of our, you know, our love, yes, Carol Radswell. I don't know if what love, I don't know if, I don't know if our love is the oh, right well, I word. love Your Carol. Love. But oh my God, Scott <sighs> had this big turkey neck that just sweated. It collected sweat. And he was just this, ugh, ugh, ugh. You're not a yeah. fan of Scott. Can you imagine getting on top of Scott and having to fuck that? Oh, no, I actually cannot. Me, me I cannot. Too. Sorry. We don't usually go for people's appearance, but there was something. I mean, he just he really... looked like a wet hot dog or slos- sausage, like a big old kielbasa with just a lot of sweat. And she really loved him. I mean, this Tinsley, she just, I, I think, I think. She loves hard, Tins. <laughs> She loves hard. She loves hard. You know who also might be having a little tough time? Well, you know what I want to talk about? R-H-O-M. I'm watching it, guys. I'm watching R-H-O-M. It's, listen, I, it's the third season of the same cast. It's not bad. It's a very good franchise. It's moved to Bravo. It's a little, I feel like something needs to change maybe after this season, but it's not, it's no R-H-O-A. It's no R-H-O-C. We're not in trouble. We could, you know what the problem with R-H-O-M is? How do you change the cast? I really tried the other day to go through it. Process of elimination. I think the most dispendable one is Marisol. And even then, I don't think that you would just get rid of one person, maybe Marisol and Kiki, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, Julia, the for the first lesbian housewife ever. We have Jenna Lyons now. I don't think we're getting rid of Julia. Gertie's dealing with cancer. We're not going to get rid of her after that. Alexia, she's fallen from grace a little bit. We're not getting rid of her. Adriana, Adriana, she's just a friend of, I heard she gets like no money for this. We're not getting rid of her. I don't think the cast is so easy. Larsa, I mean, we're not getting rid of Larsa. I don't think the cast is so easily changeable. I think it would have to be something drastic. So we might see the same cast back. Not my favorite season, but a very good season. Our girl Larsa's in trouble. People are coming for our friend Larsa, Sarah. What did you make of that? Okay, I can't quite figure out if she outed Gertie for having cancer. You know, if she told, which the scene does appear like she blurts it out, right? Now she's come on because Julia obviously went in on her. Just what, you know, to quote Dave Portnoy, what a trash bag. Julia didn't say that about, but but she was, she had her for Larsa. That, right, that Larsa is kind of a trash bag that knew what she was doing told everybody about Gertie's cancer before Gertie wanted them to know. Now, Larsa came out and said Julia's full of it, that Gertie had already told people, was planning on telling them anyway. The word was out and she didn't spill anything that wasn't already out there. And apparently they'd even filmed a scene, I believe, where they were on camera. Gertie was telling somebody, maybe not those ladies, but it it had already been filmed. So Larsa did not think it was any secret. You are much more of an insider. I mean, what do you make of this? Well, I mean, on camera, she told Julia and Adriana and Nicole. She didn't tell the other ladies. Um, Well, if that's true, Larsa, that is certainly not how the entire show is being edited. Uh, You know, I think also we have, look, anytime it's around Munchausen's or, or, you know, Lisa, when it's with Lyme disease, when it's a real disease, it's like, this gets... Let's not forget that people came for Rinna really hard, you know? So it's like, be careful, Larsa. You know, it certainly doesn't look that way. I think when Gertie told her she has breast cancer and Larsa said, are you sure? How do you know? What do you mean? I think that alone is a little strange. I mean, I don't think she's just deciding she has breast cancer. Although apparently Brooks had cancer and apparently he did it and apparently Vicky knew. And here we are all these years later and Melon Ball is still talking about it at BravoCon. But really? um, I think Larsa's, you know, she's having a tough season, season, this Larsa Pippen. I think she told the other lady, she says she did it for moral support. Was Larsa wrong? I mean, look, I think it's like outing someone's sexuality. I just don't think you out someone's. I think everyone tells someone about their own sickness in their own time. No, fair enough. I think that's the goodest analysis. I don't know if I'd want to tell anyone, to be honest with you. 
Really? You wouldn't tell anyone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. I, I mean, really hope one day that I don't find out, but you know God, how no, I feel about God. that. Not until at least you're like 82. And then after that, you're just on borrowed time anyway. Right. We still have so to do this like, podcast, so I'm not and look ready at Jimmy yet. Carter. I mean, we could all be so lucky as him, right? My God, he's had brain cancer for now, what, two years? I mean, the, like the guy keeps on ticking. I mean. Well, I mean, Shannon Doherty, I've seen many times uh, this year. I mean, she's. I pray for her. Healthy. I, I, like she's, she's living. She's like, why shouldn't I live? But keep going, it is keep probably going. borrowed time to your point. Well, when you're over 80, I mean, Gertie, I, I hope, do you know anything about her prognosis? Is she? I think it's, I mean, she's, she's, but Shannon too had started with breast cancer and it went away. So Gertie now is cancer free. So it's Good. just, it that way. I think you don't, I think your life is changed from that. Like you still have to go and get follow up visits. So I think. Always. It's always hopefully Gertie is filming the show and really doesn't care about any of this, right? Doesn't care about Larsa and Adriana and just I would film the show, but I would not really care about any of the drama that was going on anymore. I'd be like, I'm cancer free. Yeah. Like what else really matters? Oh, for the grace of God. Yes. I mean, good for her. And that's all that matters. And the rest of the stuff we just watch for escapism. But she is having a tough season, our Larsa. I like Larsa. I hope she turns it around. Um where else do you want to go with this? Well, I am curious oh, your thoughts. I spent okay. way too much time looking into this, but uh -oh. Marcellus, uh, am I saying it Mar right? Marcel Marcellus, Marcellus Wiley, Marcellus who you met, darling. Darling. Tall, you have a picture with a man. I do. Very nice. Although it was very brief talk, so I can't really assess his personality. But, you homeless, know, this- not toothless. At the old homeless, not toothless. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway- this was a big story for a moment. And then, I don't know, then I listened to his YouTube retort and I thought, well, oh. he might have some good points. Okay, so Marcellus has, you know, very famous football player, now going to be on RHOBH, accused of sexual assault by a woman in college where he was at, oh my God, was it Columbia? I mean, very- I think Columbia. School, yes, and playing football. And if you read the, the stuff, it says that he, the woman reported it and it was like victim shaming. He was like a big football star and they were just kind of like swept in under the rug and they were like, oh, okay, well, you know, what do you mean he tried to, you know, sexually assault you? And what do you mean? And they, it's, they kind of swept in. That's what the, that article says, but go on. I didn't mean to interrupt you. She says that basically she was sexually assaulted by him, uh, that there were other people on campus that had been assaulted by him, too, throughout his college years. But she was it sounds like she was is not originally from the United States. And to your point, the college tried to tell her, oh, you know, he did not rape you. You know, you're just from a different co country. You mistook, you know, you misunderstood. It's like, 